Well, it's still snowing, but that's okay. It's time for February's MR Insider. Looking for something to do to keep out of the next polar vortex? Let MR Video Plus help. We've got some great new videos to keep you out of the weather. On the February installment of Cody's office, Cody looks at the latest model from Walther's, the HO Scale Metroliner, complete with DCC and sound. He also shows you how to replace N-Scale plastic wheel sets with metal ones and answers another batch of viewer mail. If you enjoyed part one of Drew and Kent's Canadian adventure, the best is yet to come. This month, Drew and the crew head into Alberta to follow Canadian Pacific trains on its transcontinental mainline. You'll see a lot of big trains, spiral tunnels, and amazing scenery in this episode of Drew's Trackside Adventures. In February, Kent Johnson returns with another installment of basic training. This time, Kent shows you an easy technique for modeling dead trees on your layout. Using Kent's method, you can add character to your woodland scene in no time. In the early 1980s, model railroaders Jim Hedegar and Gordon Odegaard took a trip to California to visit the Union Pacific Railroad. Their plan was to photograph trains on the West Coast for a series of articles in the magazine. In this month's History According to Hedegar, Jim recounts the highlights of the adventure, complete with photographs and a few surprises. MR's HO scale Rice Harbor layout needed a two-track car float, so I set out to build one. In this three-part series, I'll show you how to build the float from common materials, paint it, and build the float bridge so it can dock with the rest of the railroad. Don't miss this fun how-to project. Well, we may just have had all the snow we can stand for one winter, but that's okay. No matter where you are, MR Video Plus has the cure for the winter blues. And as a reminder, you can add MR Video Plus to an MR subscription for as little as nine cents a day. Enjoying model railroading has never been more fun or easy.